Good morning, everybody. Um, it's me, Mother Eagles. I have a new phone, which is great. Um, today, I got some things to do. I think I'll show you guys what I drew when I'm quarantined. Um, I am going to go out and about because I have to get my laundry done because um, I had spilled soda on my blanket because I threw the bottle onto the bed thinking it was fully closed so the top wasn't screwed on all the way. So, I had soda all over my bed. I was going to do it yesterday, but my sugar was really high, and then I worked out, and then it went to 89, and then it took forever to get up, and I didn't want to eat, like, sweets or anything like that. Um, I really want to eat fruit, and I couldn't eat fruit because bananas are getting expensive. Everything's getting expensive. So, I have to go to the store and get some fruit. But before that, I have to, uh, you know, take care of my own self, make sure I look presentable somewhat, um, eat breakfast, well, before I eat breakfast, shake my blood sugar, eat breakfast, mop the kitchen and the living room, if I have enough time, hopefully I do, and um, go to a laundromat, wash there real quick, hit the grocery store, Maybe I'll hit the grocery store because I think I go to my sister's house real quick and stop by there to check on things. And then I have to go to the grocery store. So hopefully things are good. And I have to go to the post office. The post office is probably going to be last because that's like literally by my house. Um, I don't trust putting things inside the mailbox because I forget. And, you know, I've been writing letters to people and stuff like that. And I've been putting it on the wrong put my I put my main I put my name in the middle. It's supposed to be in the corner. And I'm like, I forgot. And I gotta go by the post office and get stamps if I have enough time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this all today or not, but let's see. And um this is like this is like kinda like my routine of getting up really early because I'm trying to stick to my work schedule. Like if I get up around six or before six I'm fine. But I still feel like I can't fit everything I need to do in a day but let's get going because I'm talking too much so yeah so my trigger today is 152 that's still kind of high but it's still in a range I prefer it to be lower than that but um like I said I wasn't feeling good yesterday because my sugar like after I worked out dropped to 89 and I should have stopped working out but oh well um so that's I had ate for dinner was some leftover fried chicken and some beans and um that kind of made it go up just a little bit i'm happy it's not in two under it's like i thought i was gonna be but um that's what that is i'm supposed to have my blood sugar i was told around 120 before i wake up but i am just happy to have it in range somewhat in range so um uh, i probably won't work out this morning i probably will work out when i get home if it's you know, in decent range. So, that's that. So, I just look up the hours for the laundry, and they're open, like, right now. So, I'm trying to get up there as fast as I can, because your girl needs to get these blankets done, because the faster I do, the faster I can come home and uh, mop. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to mop really early or not, or get it out the way now, because I want to mop the kitchen and clean the counters down with bleach. Or I might say that for another day because my time is kind of limited because I'm trying to take out this sewing. Um, I'm not showing it right now because it looks ugly. It looks disgusting because I'm going to get braids. And um, I know that's not essential, but it's hair that needs to be done. You know, so I'm taking every precaution I can. Um, I'm not putting no one in danger. I'm not sick. Um, the person around me is not sick. Um, I'm not trying to do this on purpose. It's just my hair needs to be done. And, um, you know, I'm going to somebody who I actually knows I can do it. So hopefully a lot of people are not going to get mad at me. You know, saying you stay inside all day. Um, I've been inside mostly all day for the past couple, uh, it's, it's since lockdown. And I've been going to the grocery store, being a good little girl. So, um, I just need it done, honestly. But, um, 
yeah that's what I'm gonna do hi guys it is 7 32 and it's raining out here it's getting really dark so I had to wash these blankets because it's sticky and it's wet and it's gonna get more wet so I think I'm just gonna go to the laundry mat not my sister's place because I'm not trying to get caught and I can't find my glasses. I don't know where they went. So I'm just gonna go to um, a laundromat if they're open. Get something to eat. Well, I'm gonna get something to eat first because I gotta take some for my sugar. Uh, it's not gonna be the most healthy thing, but whatever. And um, I wanna post office real quick and drop off what I gotta drop off. Cause I gotta get my taxes. I gotta get. I didn't file last year, so I gotta file this year and um, this current year. So yeah. Anyways, I'm at the post well, office. It's not open, but I just dropped some letters in there. So that's that. And it is raining. It was raining really hard when I was driving, but now it's not. So it makes it look like I'm a liar, but I'm not. But it was just, it's just raining really hard. So I gotta go. So I'm at McDonald's right now, and the rain has lifted up. So that's good. Yes, can I have an English McMuffin with no cheese? A what McMuffin with no cheese? A sausage McMuffin with no cheese. Anything else for you? That's it. Oh, eight. Thank you. It's a long line. Okay, the rain has stopped, thankfully. Jeez, it was raining really hard. And uh, I know you guys can't see me that well, but it is what it is. I have nothing to put on my window. I don't have that thing to put on my window no more. Thank you. Have a good one. Now I'm gonna go to the um, laundry mat and see if they're open yet. I am not sure. Everybody's just, there's a lot more people than I would expect, honestly, to be out right now. Um. But I see a lot of people not taking this as seriously as they should. Like, there's still a lot more people on the road than it needs to be. Um, the reason why I'm just out today is to do laundry. I would have went to my sister's house to check in on her and get her to get my hair out. But I lost my glasses. I thought it was in my bag. It's not in my bag. It's not in the console in the middle. I have no idea where it is, honestly. Um... So that's kind of frustrating because I need that to see. And the only reason why I'm doing this now is because, like, the laundry mat, everything that I need to do 
besides the hair is just near my house so I can see like my sister's in Norport so I don't want to like risk going that far you know so I mean once I can see like this I am fine um I sure had I should have had her come to the house but um I don't know. I don't want to risk it because I want to be seen as taking this seriously, you know? Uh, I don't want to be like fussed at on the internet, but like you're not taking it seriously. I mean, low key, I'm not because I'm not afraid of getting sick, you know, or dying or anything. Um, I just had too many instances to where things have happened to where I was on, on my deathbed to where I can't breathe um you know my uh like last year was just kind of like a really new experience as to what will be happening to me if I were to you know do it that way shoot no okay yes they're open right here I'm not sure if they're actually open open um, let me see. Let's see. No more than three people inside the building. I can't see this. Oh, let's just try to go. Hi, everybody. So, I had ate my English muffin off camp. I mean, I recorded it, but then I realized I'm talking way too much right now. I'm at the laundry mat and I had to make sure I'm not in handicapped parking because your girl does not need that five dollar ticket. I had to make sure, like, three or four times. Like, I literally had to open the door and take my lines because, like, I'm right near the blue line. And sometimes, like, in parking spots, you can't really see the logo because, like, um, I guess they need that extra blue line with the slots in the middle so that way people who have vans can like pop out and use that play that space, you know. But I know some people who get very aggressive if they get told to move from part handicapped when they're not handicapped. Um, so I'm just kind of like, wow, all right, then is, is it really, is it really you're doing way too much right now, you know? For handicap parking, like it's not that serious. And I use my whole ten dollars, and I'm kind of peeved off about that because I wanted to. I should have stuffed everything in one. I should have, but I wasn't thinking, <laughs> and I could have dried at least one black because I know one blanket. It's not going to dry, you know, because um, it's wet and rainy outside right now. But they needed to be a wash, you know, because I haven't been able to wash them because the, the washer and dryer at my parents' place is not big enough. So I'm just kind of like, uh, but I think like when I move out, and like get my own place i'm gonna make sure i have one just for like a big washer and dryer big enough to do like a uh, big blankets and stuff like that i just like bigger blankets because it's more comfortable i like being warm at night time um i don't like being cold really i only like being cold when it's hot outside anytime Anywhere I will get that blanket and cold or what will fit. But I want to get rid of it because that blanket has been with me since like years and it kind of holds a lot of memories for me. But also, it holds a lot of memories I don't want to like, you know, think of because me and my ex used to share that blanket a lot and he always stole that blanket from me. So I was like, I don't really appreciate this whatsoever, you know. So, 
I mean, that's only the, really the only thing I have of him is that blanket. Um, and I'm not sure why I'm thinking of it now of all days, you know, of that blanket. But, um, I'm happy, you know, um, I got this out the way because I was supposed to come here yesterday, but yesterday my blood sugar was like in the 200s. So I worked out a lot. But I should have stopped when it was 170 because I would have felt better. Because I forgot I had to cook as well. And any type of movement, uh, like if you're like actually like cooking, cleaning, like full on cooking, not just like microwaving something. Like I made a, I made like fried chicken and I made um, some beans. I heated some beans. I put some hamburger meat in it. And um, I know I'm trying to eat vegan or vegetarian, but. Um, I don't know how to do recipes, like make up recipes, and I, I just don't know how. And I do fall cheap, lazy vegan, but like I was like, how do I incorporate what I eat on a normal, normal day to day basis and make it vegan or vegetarian? I think I'm, I'm, probably, I'm just gonna say vegetarian because just to get out of the way, I just don't know how to do that. You know, like, of course I take meat at the meal, but how do I replace? the meat with like what I'm eating like of course I can include meat I mean beans and fake processed vegan vegetarian meat and like you know tofu but I was like how do I make it taste the same as to you know what you know I'm actually eating you know because I don't eat like a typical I don't want to say American because of my Hawaiian heritage. So I was like, how do I combine that world and like my own world? You know? So it's very confusing. Because <laughs> um, I eat a lot of rice, a lot of pork, um, which I'm trying to like not really do because pork is just like, uh, pork is really bad for you. Um, I don't know. It's just a lot to really think about and um, I saw someone did a lasagna but they use a uh, zucchini but I have eggplant so I was like can I just use the extra eggplant and somehow make it a uh, vegetarian but like I can't use a lot of cheese <laughs> like I can probably get away with it now because I'm not doing anything <laughs> you know I'm not working so I'm not really going anywhere um, so I'm like cheese all day, every day if I wanted to, you know, but I'm going to try to make that because I have to use some of the leftover zucchini. Um, and I have to freeze that whole bowl. Of I made like vegetarian chili, not really chili. Well, technically yes, it is chili, but I added, I added a lot of things in there that were new and different, but it takes me a while to really, um, get used to that. So I have to freeze it and um, somehow portion it out because I don't want it to go to waste. You know, um, I put like chickpeas, beans in it. Uh, these, these, these beans were already cooked because I didn't have time to really soak them and wait for the next night and dump it in there into my chili. But I always make too much. Every time I make something like chili or any kind of soup or spaghetti, I make too much of it, you know. And I got I got chili out so quick, and I was like, "This is this is disappointing." And like when I eat now, I can't. I've had to force myself to eat a whole bowl or something, you know. And I don't want to like, you know, not like not finish something and you know still be hungry later on because I'm like I don't have time for that I have everything I gotta do you know so um I think my clothes are done I think I don't know I've been kind of vlogging here for a bit um I don't want to show where this laundry mat's at because it's like really near my house and I don't feel comfortable ensuring that because I'm not trying, I mean, I'm not trying to hide, but there are certain people who, where I don't want to 
I don't want them to know, you know, where I stay at for, like, personal reasons. And, um, certain people have, like, followed my social media. Like, not y'all, but, like, people in the past who I kind of, like, don't talk to for real that much anymore. And, um, they always, they, like, somebody had the nerve to ask me for money on my birthday. And I was like, well, you got... You're, you're, I was pissed. Okay, well, I think my clothes have stopped. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish this story. And um, we'll get right into it. Because who does that? Got my laundry now. It looks like it's about to rain again. Like the sky is getting hella dark. The wind is picking up as we speak. And um, you guys probably see in the background. I'm not sure. But I got all my laundry in. Uh, my blankets. But I, I realized I didn't throw some of them away because... They're like, they got pukas, they got holes in them, and it's kind of ripping open to where all the stuffing is coming out. And I was like, no! <laughs> and like, all these blankets I have got for free, or gotten at thrift stores, and they have been washed before. I haven't washed them recently. And I was like, what's this kind of smell in my room? And I was like, is that the blankets? Because like, I have a plug-in from Bath Body Works, and I have two lit, uh, wax thingy so I put it in my room and make it smell good but anyways that story is it was my birthday I posted it on Instagram say hey they want to cash out me go ahead and send it to this name and um one of my ex's sisters had contacted me and was like oh hey you know like she didn't even tell me happy birthday first of all and I was like rude you know and um she didn't even wait she didn't even hesitate she was like oh hey you know um how you're doing where you live at and I was like well I live in you know I told her I live in Boynton Springs which I don't um I told her that because I didn't want her to find out where I'm living because it's none of her business you know whatsoever and um she was like, oh, okay, whatever. I think she was going to ask for a ride or whatever for me to come to her. I wasn't going to, even if I was living here, because I don't trust her. Um, I don't know what kind of attention she has, you know. So, it's just a lot of people who I have dated are always wanting to target me for kind of some kind of financial gain, which I don't like doing. Like... I, I, like, I would do it for a while, but then I, when I get fed up, I will cut your line. Like, you will never hear from me again. You know, you'd be like, why is she mad? <laughs> you know? But, um... Yeah, like... They, they were doing way too much, actually, for way too many rides. And I was just like, I'm not going to keep going my way to keep, to keep driving you guys X, Y, and Z somewhere. You know, when... You could have just called a pharmacy, called me at five points, and we could have went to five points. I don't, I don't know why we have to always go to Bessemer. Makes no sense to me whatsoever, you know? But, um, I was really pissed off about that. Like, she didn't even really ask me how I was doing or whatever. She just, like, went in and, you know, asked, kind of started a conversation and then asked me for money. And I was like, no, you know, like... I haven't talked to you in five plus years, and this is like how you want to come at me. I was hella upset, very angry, and not only that, I had people constantly asking me all day for me for money. Me, not giving me money, but people were asking me for money on Facebook. Not in a joking way, but they were hella serious. But people who I had never heard from, people who were asking me of like news for me, like people who I have not talked to in years, asked for this on my birthday. I thought, well, I thought I was supposed to be getting a gift. You know, I thought I was supposed to be getting the money. It's my birthday. Like, that's very rude, you know. And um, people were, ex were doing the most to me on my birthday of all days. And I was like, why you guys wait around on my birthday to do this, <laughs> you know? Very confusing. And I was just like, wow, that kind of ruined my birthday. And the week after my birthday, my birthday was on the 15th. So I thought the week after my birthday, I wanted to go ahead and go to Cheesecake Factory, enjoy myself, and redo my birthday. But then the coronavirus happened. And I was like, thanks, Corona. <laughs> you know? So I think I think this whole thing will blow over 
not really in April. But I think it will blow over maybe in in the fall. But I think this whole year Corona took it because by the time the fall happens, there is really nothing for us to do. You know, it's like October, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and that's it. Like. I was looking forward to summer and going out and going to the beach and visiting my friends, you know, my roommates and stuff like that. But I was like, nope, not not that not today. That's what Corona said. So um, I'm gonna head out of here and head back home, really. And I thought I would be at the laundromat all day, but they're pretty fast. I was in and out really quick. I went to the post office. Um, I don't know if I'm going to the grocery store because it's like so early. I thought I would be, it's like still what, seven something now? So uh, it was only like 19, 22 minutes. And I could see this, my laundry being done. I was just waiting for the other one to be done before I grabbed both of them, you know? Um, so pretty much I could have just waited to, to eat breakfast at home. <laughs> I just realized that. But I thought I'd be here all day. Because usually, sometimes when I think I'm going to be in and out, I, I'm like there all day. So, not sure what I'm going to do now, <laughs> you know. I guess I go home and clean, clean the floors like I want it to because, um, yeah. I really want to go to the store, but they said that, um, the elderly goes first. So, I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever. So, I'm probably going to wait around to do that because I really have to get snacks because I have none in my room. Not in the pantry. Like I'm actually like healthy snacks, not not chips, um, fruit, um, maybe you know. It's just fruit's really expensive now. Fruit went up, bananas went up, and I was like, bananas went up, weird. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because a lot of people are coming in and out, and I don't want to be around it. Even though I'm in my car, um, I don't want people to be knocking on my door because I had people like when I was trying to like get out, I had people like walking back and forth, back and forth, and then then. Maybe very uncomfortable because where I'm at in this laundromat, it's not a bad neighborhood, but it's a lot of people walking. And I was like, I don't trust it because like you can walk, hop up over here, and like you know get whatever I have in my car. And de luckily, I still have my phone in here. My phone was like not brand new, but brand new to me. I was like, well, luckily I still got my phone in here, <laughs> you know. So I'm gonna go now, and I'm talking way too much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. So. I went to Dollar General. They had they were putting out a lot of stock because they just got their truck in. So, um, I finally got cereal. I've been looking for cereal since day one. I've been looking for putting out Cheerios, the family box, um, because it's been gone since Walmart. And I went to Dollar Journal and I found it. I said, like, I should have went to Dollar Journal in the beginning. Um, they didn't have a waiting hour for the elderly. I don't know when that is, but I thought it would be like around 8. So I was in there perfect timing. I got two of these because if my sugar's low, I eat this, it's fine. Um, I like them anyways. I got one of these because even though I'm like something tolerant, okay. it'll be all right. Cause I'll be at home. <laughs> I also got me some comment I've been looking for with the bleach, uh, with bleach. I got this spray down the counters and I got some uh I heard this was really good so I got one of these they were a dollar each and my bag broke so that's lovely so I'm gonna mop and clean the kitchen and the bathroom because nobody mopped it recently and it looks disgusting and it's chilly out here it got really cold after that rain came in so i think today's gonna be a cold chilly day because i like i want something hot you know i want something um like warmy and toasty that sandwich did nothing for me because i'm still starving <laughs> but i want i don't know why i don't want two breakfasts because well i do deserve it <laughs> I'm gonna check what my sugar is right now. See if I can get another breakfast and not. I'll, you know, I'll wait till I get home. Yeah, I'll wait till I get home and make me a breakfast. Cause that was way too early for me, honestly. And I keep forgetting to wash my hands. I mean, I did before I got in here. I'm gonna do it one more time though. 
So this older guy was asking if you guys have alcohol, wipes, hand sanitizer, and he was really older. I felt bad though. I was like, oh. Like if I had my phone on, I, I would have been like recording, but I really want to get in there in and out. And I've been breaking out too. I don't know if you guys see my finger because I've been kind of stressed out. So I do want to like eat, you know, always eat. So I've been kind of taking that on my skin. I've been picking my skin. I'm like, your hands look so ugly. And it hurts though, but I was like, whatever. I hate pricking myself. If you guys don't like blood, don't watch this part because you guys might freak out. This is how you check yourself as a diabetic. Um, I'm, I'm borderline. So as long as I work out and eat the right stuff, sometimes I can have a treat me, but I haven't had a treat me yet because I just been very, not stressed out, I just been very, you know, I don't know. My mind's just everywhere. And a lot of people keep freaking me out too. So it's 162, which is not that bad. 10 point, 10, 11, 12 points. So I'll take that. I'm trying to justify like getting another breakfast, <laughs> but I better not. I think after I work out, I will eat a more proper meal, you know? I just ate hand sanitizer. That was lovely. But because the store, um, this, this vowels over here next to me, um, they have very good breakfast, like a little tray, and I should have waited because they give you a lot of food to eat. So I'm gonna do this, go home, and uh, clean and work out and chill for the rest of the day because your girl needs it. I'm probably gonna play video games, I don't know, but I gotta pee. So <laughs> I know it's TMI, but my videos are always TMI. So, and I know if, when I drive, this phone's gonna slip. So I'm not even gonna be like, oh yeah, oh, I'll drive. But I'm like really near my house, so. I don't think you guys can see anything in the background because my head's really big. <laughs> Um, and I don't see any that can like resemble anything to me, so it's good. But I got here really early, which is great. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys later. Boom. Hey everybody, so I got done cleaning. Um, it took longer than I expected because I was going very slow because I wanted to mop to clean the counters with bleach in the kitchen and clean the counters in the living room with, with bleach because they haven't been done. I was not going to dust because I don't like dusting. Whoever does and likes it, please come in the house because you can dust all you like. But that's the only thing I haven't done in the house is dusting and I'm not going to dust because I'm going to start sneezing and people think I'll have corona, which I don't. Um, I just checked my blood sugar. It's like 102 right now, which is very good. All I did was just clean. And then it, I, I, my blood sugar before when I ate that uh, English muffin was 162. So I knew I didn't have to do like a hard workout, but we'll see when we eat Chipotle if I got to work out today because every time I eat Chipotle for some weird reason, it just makes it go up. And I'm like, what? Anything like anytime it's like this low, it makes it go that high. So I have no idea what I'm doing to make it that high besides like carbs maybe, but like I didn't order, I didn't put rice in it and I did not put um, anything extra in it. I think my sister's window is down. I'm gonna check it before I leave. It looks like it though. I hope not. But um, like I said, I'm going to Pet Light and then I'm stopping by my sister's for a bit, checking on her, make sure things okay. And then I'm going to go home. And um, that's it for today. Um, not going to do anything interesting. Sorry, this is like kind of like a boring video. But like, I really don't do a lot being off work. <laughs> and um, I'm still kind of fuming about what my uh, ex-sister asked me for money. Like, she was not the only one who asked me that. There were like a couple other people who asked me that. But like, she was like, really wanna 
last people who are expect to ask me for anything because I haven't heard from her forever. So I think because I don't like hearing from her because I think she's like connected with my ex's mother and um she's always with the people who are like close to me or or send people to like to me ask me or trying to figure out what I'm doing because one of the first things she asks is where you're at like where you're living and I was like that's kind of a weird thing to ask somebody who you haven't talked to in forever you know but maybe it's just me you know traumatized or whatever but I'm gonna leave I can't drive with y'all because I'm literally sitting in the parking lot so I'm trying to block things <laughs> But I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys gonna get Chipotle. Bye. Hi guys. So um I did go to my sister's because I really wanted my uh so one thing out and I wanted to show you what it looks like. <laughs> one, two, three. This is what my hair looks like. Like you can see like dandruff falling out and every, it looks disgusting. It feels disgusting, like, it's nasty. This is like maybe a month of hair. Oh, let me see, I'm going to show you guys up close. So it's like a month of hair. And like, every time I touch it, dandruff just falls. I don't know if you guys see it on camera or not, but it's disgusting. But that's why I need to take it out, because it's nasty. But I can't just leave that so in because I want sometimes I take it out, just take it out. So I took it out. I mean, that's why I'm putting this on because my cat fall, my hoodie falls off. Put that on. I am gonna wash it when I get home. I was gonna wash it at her. I was gonna wash it at her house, but I was like, nah. But I'm going home now, and I'm gonna take my hat, take my butt at home, and I'll show you guys the result after. And um, you guys can come and see my natural hair I'm not ashamed of my natural hair I just want to sew it in because I'm tired of my hair growing slowly and I take supplements I take everything I was like it's not working so one thing my hair will actually you know come in is to get braided and I do like sew-ins or braids stuff like that that's what it actually will keep it going also it's very cold it's like hot cold hot cold so I was like what's going on with the weather so thinking it's gonna rain again and also I have asthma and I forgot to bring my inhaler with me, which is another thing. But I found my glasses. They're in my purse. I couldn't find it because I woke up and I was trying to hit the laundromat at freaking 7 o'clock. So that's why I'm breathing really weird if you guys can hear it. I'm just out of breath because I'm just running around, which I shouldn't be running around with this weather. And, you know, I'm also um, diabetic, pre-diabetic. So I'm going to go home, take a breathing treatment, and, you know show you guys my aftermath of my hair so yeah bye anyways i'm at walmart i got here really quick because i had to get soy milk almond milk um because i had none <laughs> uh i thought i had four i don't know where the other two went but this is my i bought two of these they were the cheap kind i'm not buying no four dollar almond milk because i can't drink regular milk uh i can't i can't I'm glad they had it in salt because the big Walmart did not have no home and making salt. I was like, what? I had to buy vinegar because I used a lot of it. I put vinegar in like the, when you boil eggs. It helps take the shell off easier. So, that's that for today. And I'll see you guys when you see my hair freshly washed. Bye. Hey, everybody. Here's to me. Multiple Sneeko. I am working out right now. Um, I thought I'd do a quick workout because I knew my blood sugar was going to be high. It's in around 2.20 or 2.30. And I knew it was high. <laughs> but I was like, please don't. Because I don't know why. When their mind's that low, it just jumps up for some weird reason. I don't know what it is or what I'm eating. Maybe I need to change my eating habits or just like cut out. Like just minimize carbs in the morning and that's it. I don't think I can eat carbs after a certain time in the morning. I don't know why, it just makes it jump out like crazy. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. And it sucks because I love rice, but my cars, but like, I'm like, I was really active today, you know? <laughs> but I guess like sitting down and um, I messed this place for a bit and she took off my hair. It was, it just kinda just all, everything all just kinda settled in, which sucks, but it's okay, you know? Um, so after this workout, I'm gonna 
Head and shower, did I see my hair or not set? That's all I'm doing for today, except for eating dinner. And of course, relaxing. <laughs> and being on my phone, really chilling in my bed. I still gotta be in my bed. Oh, I still gotta be in my bed. But it's just like, very cold outside. It's very chilly. And I was like, hmm, what should I make? And I forgot to make the stuff for lasagna I saw on, uh, it's like TikTok, but I don't watch TikTok. I watch the videos on YouTube for TikTok because I don't see myself downloading TikTok. I don't know, like, even though, like, yes, yeah, awesome community out there for TikTok, I'm just like, I think I'm too old for TikTok. <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, I'm going to work out for maybe like an hour and a half and see where my blood sugar is at. And I'm not trying to get it super low like I did yesterday because, like, what I should stop around 150. <laughs> I'm not going to keep go making it go down, down, down to how I did because it took forever for it to come up and I still have plenty of stuff I got to do. So I got to in my bed, put clean linens on there, uh, get whatever is dry and um, make that bed. And that's it. So, and I'm going to watch Twitch for the rest of the night because a lot of people are hearing marathons. So I'll watch that till I pass out and I'll probably will call people. So yeah, anyways. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully you guys liked this a little bit. Hope you guys aren't too mad at me. If you guys watched this all the way, please put a thumbs up and say your favorite color in the comments down below. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe because it'll help me out a lot. And of course, this is family friendly. <laughs> so you can watch my videos. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. So this is my hair like this on a pony. Not a ponytail, but... It's like this. <laughs> uh, it feels kind of good to run my fingers through my hair. My hair is wet. I had to wash it because it was driving me nuts. And it was getting very hot. Took off all my clothes. Not all my clothes, but my jacket and the other. My bonnet I was wearing earlier. So this is my hair now. Uh, it feels longer. It feels like very healthy, you know. I just did a co-wash. Um... At first, I ran away. Like, I still have hair. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, I think this is like a normal response. Um, after you do a sew in, you're going to have hair. So, I think I'm going to have to brush out my hair in the shower. I'm going to, I had him take a shower. I just whisked out my head. I am going to take a shower and brush out my hair. I think this will happen for like maybe a couple of days or so with my head. Now, if my hair was bigger, it'll be like maybe a week or so because it just, my hair when it was bigger and a poof, more poofy, it shed like crazy after I did sewing or braids. But I'm going to get braids this Friday. So, um, I just want to rest in between a sewing and braids. I don't want to go, I wanted to go back and back, back to back, you know, so that way I don't miss a beat. But, um, whatever at this point. I was trying to find somebody, and I don't get paid till Friday with my unemployment because everybody's on unemployment right now. So, um, yeah, I I'll be getting my hair done then. And the person has not responded to me about a deposit because she said she wanted to deposit, and I was like, well, when, where do you want me to send it at? You know, like I thought she said cash app or regular cash or meet me somewhere. She didn't respond to me, so uh, she doesn't respond to me by. I'm going to say, if she respond to me by Thursday, I'm going to say forget about it and go to somebody else and get braids because your girl needs her hair done. And I just want to always continue to get my hair done until it grows back to the length it was before my accident. I just wanted more big poofy. And hopefully when I get to that stage, I can like get it longer, you know, always. Because I never really did anything to my hair, honestly. I always just kind of put conditioner in it or water and good to go. But now, since it's back to this, because I cut it myself last year. And it's got some kind of length to it. I have not. It's pretty like this now. But my hair does not grow fast. Like, I think it, I think maybe in the next two years or so, it will get back to the poof. And hopefully, with enough, you know, love, it will get back to past, I can, I, I'm going to try to get past my shoulders. If I can get past my shoulders and then get bangs and everything, I'll be a very happy person. <laughs>
if we can get to that point. I don't know how I will do it, but I will do it. I think I gotta keep continuously just, you know, always, um, taking care of it. Because once it gets to that big stage where it had, like, the big fro, I don't know if you guys remember my fro or anything like that. Whenever we get to that, then I will be okay. You know, but, um... Right now, I do have still some dandruff. Um, I do have some fallout. Not fallout, but just shedding. But I don't want... I can't use sulfur because sulfur kills my hair. So if you guys know anything that would kind of help with dandruff, that's like actually won't kill my hair. Because I, I have mixed hair. And my hair is very curly and it's very like soft. And a lot of people are shocked because I can do a sew... I can do anything with my hair. Really. I can do sew-ins. I can do braids. It's just like my hair is so soft, it won't last as long unless I'm like super like just encouraging myself to last that long, you know? Because like last year I had a sewing in for three months and my hair, well, it wasn't matted. It was just, you know, hard to get out. It was because my, my kind of like my hair was kind of like, you know, already into that matted stage. I was like, not today. So I think I lasted maybe three weeks or so. But hopefully with braids, I can last until the end of the summer, um, or maybe in the middle of summer, and then I'll switch to something else. I don't know what, but I I always wanted braids in the summer. I just never. It, I always had my hair natural, you know. Or people are like, hey, why don't you get braids? You look good with braids. I'm just kind of like, I'll do it eventually. I'll do it eventually. I never did it, <laughs> you know, and um, until. Really, I never did it until um, recently. I never really cared about my appearance. I never cared about getting my eyebrows done. Like, when my aunt took me to get my nails and my eyebrows off for the first time, I was like, this is weird. I'm a tomboy. But then I started to like it more because I like being pampered and stuff like that. And um, that's kind of, like, that really got me on my tomboy face. I feel like I'm a tomboy at heart. It's just like, that's when I start kind of getting out of that face of like always. And I still wear baggy clothes, but like, I still want to dress cute, look cute, you know, have guys look at me. But I know at times where I just want to, like, wear a hoodie and just be done with it in leggings. And I'm like, that's it. You know, that's a wrap. And I do want to eventually get over the hoodie that I'm wearing and find a new hoodie. It's just right now with the shipping and the coronavirus, I don't want to get nothing from, like, outside the U.S. right now, you know, because I'm not... I mean, I can get it from anything, really, but right now... I only want to the U.S. shipping because I'm just scared of getting something from, like, out of the U.S. And they may have something on it. And, you know, I'll get it. And I'm just like, great, don't do that. But I, maybe I can go to a store and get a hoodie. That's probably my best bet. Go to a store and get a hoodie. And actually be happy with that. But it's just, like, everything's close now. <laughs> you know? And I like, I like guy hoodies because it fits me more. Like, I have, like, more of a guy frame because I'm so tall. And my arms are so long that, you know, I can't find hoodies that will actually fit on me. And if they do fit, they'll shrink and it'll be like to like up here, you know. And I'm like, I don't want a hoodie like that. I want a hoodie to where I can kind of like stretch in it and move in it. Because the hoodie I have right there, that's guy's hoodie, you know. And I bought it my own. And I was like, hell yeah. So, uh, I haven't found any kind of YouTubers or any kind of Twitch people who I watch on Twitch have hoodies I want. It's just like, I got that hoodie because like, I like it, but everybody knows me by that hoodie. Everybody. Everybody who's seen me. Like, if I want to get run, if I, if I wanna run away from the police or something like that, and I have that hoodie on, like, they will see me. You know, they will know who I am because I am very well known in my town for this damn place. Like, anybody who knows me or has seen me knows me by this hoodie. <laughs> you know? So, I do want to change hoodies or maybe just try... Wearing more girl clothes. I, just, it's, I know I know it's kind of weird saying out loud. Or wear more attractive feminine clothes. It's just like when I go out all the time. I, sometimes I don't want to be cute. You know, I just want to go in and go out. Not be looked at. Not be about her. It's just like. And then when I want to be cute, I take forever to get ready. I'm just kind of like, I'm not used to this. You know, like. I had to fly iron to sew in. And I had to make sure it matches with my outfit. And make sure I look good. Make sure I smell good. You know. And by the time I'm at the house, it's like an hour. I'm just like, this takes too long, you know, to do something. But, um, yeah, 
Um, I'm probably going to use the hair again because it needs to be washed as well. Um, because it's good hair. It really it is. I just, you know, like it. It's good. I probably got to get another middle part because I, it's cut out. I don't think I can use that anymore. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. This, this is my day. If you guys seen the whole video, let me know what class you like. If I need to be improved on anything, let me know. I probably, I know I need to put music in my videos. It's just I talk so soft. I really do. And the time I talk loud, it's if I'm by myself. I don't talk soft. In, I mean, I don't talk loud in public because I just don't. So um, maybe I need to get like a microphone or something. But I just don't talk loud. And every time I have music, it overpowers my voice to where people cannot hear me. And I got complaints on that. So that's why I don't put music in my videos. Because like a lot of people's music are very loud and I can't adjust it. And whenever I adjust it, like you can barely hear the, the music. So I was like, what's the point of me playing this? And I know how people have commented on my videos about music, stuff like that. And I seen it, I'm like, great, awesome, I can use that. But like when I use it, their music is always loud. And I can't adjust it because I'm on my phone. And so, and if I do adjust it, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, and it, it never sounds right. And I'm not a freaking professional editor and I should get someone to edit my videos professionally and get and pay, have them pay for it. Like maybe they can do like three videos a week and the rest of it is just going to be, it's just going to be one shot videos requires no editing, you know, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.